my hard drives failed. My external drive, if I turn it on here, it's not showing up. My external drive is not showing up. Man, how am I going to watch all my porn now? My external drive is not showing up on my computer. It's packed it in and uh, I got a lot of important files on here. This is my backup drive and I've got a lot of video stored on this drive and well it's decided it's not going to work. And I have a sneaking suspicion that this is the reason. The brick for this thing has packed it in. So we're going to see if we can get this brick working and uh, get my hard drive back in service. So of course the first thing we're going to do is we're going to crack open this case which is usually easier said than done. Usually side cutters in the, in the seam will open it up. It's glued together, right? So. I have a feeling that there are going to be some bulged capacitors in this thing. Hmm. That one there looks like it could be a bit bulging. Let's get the ESR tester out and take a look and see which ones are bad. I think it's very unlikely that these brown ones are going to be bad. Okay, there's this one here. 0.19, I think that one's probably okay, but there's this other little one right here. 0.9. And here are the two big brown ones. 0.02. 3. Hmm. This one looks like it's, the top is bulging. This one here. These have been changed. These two. These ones were changed a couple of years ago on this power supply. That's why I don't think we're going to have an issue with those ones. But this one, it's probably in parallel with this one. This is a split supply, power supply. So it generates 5 volts and it generates 12 volts for the older hard drives which had the four pin connector. So you've got a plus 12 and a plus 5 supply. And I bet you it's this one here. I mean it just, I don't know how well it shows up on camera but it looks like the top is starting to pop a bit on this one from where I'm looking at it here. So I'm going to pull this one out so we can check it out of circuit. I'm sure it's bad and I'm thinking that's probably all that's wrong with this power supply because it's running 24-7 so it's uh, gets a fair bit of use after all it is my porn drive right if I get this thing going I'll show you guys what's on this drive it's quite the collection Oops, <laughs> I the wrong one. This one here.
That doesn't look too good, does it? Point six, and this is a one thousand at ten volts. And point six um, is too high. I say it was point six. Should be no more than like point one, if it's any good. And it's point seven. Shot. What about the other one now that it's no longer in series with? This one's a 470 at 16. These two are in parallel with each other. I bet you this one here is also. Well, 0 0.14, 470 at, uh, that one's actually okay. Uh, 470 at 16 should be one no more, no worse than 0.18, and this is 0.14. So it's the main one here, the primary one is the one that's bad. Okay, I have a 1016 volt. It's always okay to go a little bit up in voltage, it's not going to hurt anything. We'll just put this back through here. That's a, hey, there's, there's two holes drilled in here, like it's made for two different caps. No problem with height. Some pretty good glue I put on there last time. Okay, let's just check this out and see if this thing will plug it in here and see if this thing will power up and then I'll bring the computer back and see if we can actually read the drive. Or did it trash my files when it went bad? It's always that's always the concern, right? When a power supply fails on a drive that's in use, it's going to trash all the files in the process. We have a green light now, which is a good sign. I had a sputtering green light before. I have a power light on the hard drive. Plug in and see if it will auto detect. There we go. Scan and fix. Yeah, I better do that. I'm sure that there's probably... Okay, good. My kind of porn is not the same as your kind of porn. So, uh, this is my hard drive that runs on my Raspberry Pi media player that just streams out onto uh, channel 12 throughout my house. So this is, this is, this is, this is my porn, my concert videos. And I've got, I've got several hundred of them on here. So yeah, I would not have been happy if I had lost all these files. There we go, it's uh, fixed. I'm gonna shut this off before uh, I pulled, managed to pull a, uh, a copyright strike. Well, I guess the applause is probably okay, but as I say, I've got, got tons and tons of files, literally hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of, uh, of, of concerts on here. So, and I got yeah, everything, even a little bit of ZZ Top, right? Got everything on here, so I'm going to shut that off before I pick a copyright strike. You get a uh, hard drive that's not working, especially if it's got one of these split supplies, crack it open and check your supplies, because chances are one of the voltages is just a little bit off. As you can see, it was just, it wasn't off by much, and that cap doesn't look to be too bad. The top looks like it's a little bit puffy. If you look at the very top there, just the right angle, it looks like it's just starting to go. But it went only went up to point, what was it, point 0.7, point 0.6 ohms. That's enough. That's just enough ripple was getting through that the hard drive just was not spinning up. Um, we'll catch you later. I've got some more stuff coming up soon. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.